Okay, hi everyone. So we are meeting after a long gap. So today we are just going to see a small shortcut, which can be useful uh, for mixtures or combined weighted mean questions. Okay, you must have seen some of those questions in module. I'll tell you. So first, let's see what kind of question it is. Then we'll see how to uh, actually solve it using a formula, and then we'll see how to solve it using a shortcut. Okay. So see, sometimes questions come like this. For example, let's say a trader. trader sells uh, two types of teas or coffees okay there is a question in module a trader says two sells two types of teas one costs t1 costs rupees let's say 6 per kg and the other one costs rupees let's say 10 per kg and then they give something like this that these two teas are mixed in some ratio mixed in some ratio we don't know the ratio but they are mixed in some ratio and cost of the mixture cost of the mixture is rupees let's say 7 per kg okay and we have to find what is this ratio so questions are like this there are two types of teas one costs 6 per kg one costs 10 per kg now obviously no t is going to cost 6 per kg but it is a hypothetical example so 6 and 10 and their mixture cost 7 per kg so what is the ratio now how to ideally solve this understand this is a question of mixture or weighted average or combined average all three are the same concepts understand one t costs 6 rupees per kg okay so let's assume let's assume that see we want a ratio right so let's assume that in that mixture let's say x percent is this t1 okay we are not going to do this in shortcut shortcut is very simple just understand the concept first let's say t1 is x percent and let's say t2 is now total has to be 100% right so let's say t2 is 100 minus x percent okay now how do we solve it using formula long cut if we want to use the long cut or the formula we'll solve it like this that that t costing rupees 6 is x percent of that mixture plus that t costing rupees uh, 10 is 100 minus x percent of that mixture and weighted average of this is what 7 okay this is nothing but weighted average why because if you don't write percentage instead of writing percentage if you write divided by 100 it is the same right then if you remember this is formula of combined mean or weighted average only how this is let's say x1 this is let's say frequency of first group this is x2 this is frequency of second group and this is f1 plus f2 that is x plus 100 minus x which is 100 okay but forget about it and then we can solve this equation to get x but obviously that takes a lot of time so don't do this in exam in exam there is a very small shortcut very small shortcut one t costs 6 rupees other t costs 10 rupees right the mixture costs 7 rupees 7 right yes so what we do is find difference 6 and 7 difference is 1 10 and 7 difference is 3 and reverse of this difference is the answer so 3 is to 1 is the ratio of t1 is to t2 that's it so 3 is to 1 is the ratio that's it that is the answer okay very simple shortcut let me give you another example let's say how it works in case of combined mean see let's say in a class there are some boys okay and average marks of boys boys are let's say 65 similarly average marks of girls are let's say 72 we don't know how many boys are there we don't know how many girls are there but we know combined average of the class combined average of class is let's say now it has to be between 65 and 72 right so let's say it is 68 marks 68 is the combined average now what they ask us is if there are if total students if total students are let's say 1000 how many boys are there how many girls are there 
how many boys how many girls okay now the answer will be in decimal points because i have taken random numbers but fine understand the concept same concept boys have 65 marks average girls have 72 marks average their combined average is 68 so what we do is we take difference 65 and 68 is 3 68 and 72 is 4 right reverse it so 4 is to 3 is the answer 4 is to 3 is the ratio of boys is to girls boys is to girls ratio is 4 is to 3 that's it now let's say total there are not 1000 let's say total there are 700 students okay total students are 700 and we have to divide 700 into 4 is to 3 now so what 400 boys and 300 girls that's it that is the answer so for mixtures weighted averages or combined means you can use this concept when you have to find ratio of the quantities obviously you can use this only in case of two uh, groups not more than two groups but still it is very useful because such kind of questions are very common so let me give you one question let's see if you can tell me the answer in comments okay let's say okay let me complicate it a little bit and i'll tell you the answer in comments hmm. let's say that again let's go to t okay there is t1 and there is t2 t1 costs rupees let's say 100 per kg t2 costs rupees let's say 150 per kg t1 and t2 are mixed t1 and t2 are mixed in some ratio we don't know the ratio they are mixed in some ratio and sold at sold at profit of 20% on sales for rupees <coughs> sold at profit of 20% on sales for rupees 175 okay now this question is based on this concept also and there is one more concept which is this profit cost and selling price so you have to find what you have to find is you have to find this ratio what is this ratio let's see how many of you can do that let me know in comments if you get the answer and i'll tell you the explanation in comments after some time okay so let's see how many of you get this and understand the question again t1 100 rupees t2 150 rupees it is mixed in some ratio then some profit is added how much profit is added 20% on sales and then it is sold for 175 per kg okay 175 is not the cost 175 is selling price of the mixture so find cost of the mixture and then find the ratio okay for ratio again same a hint if you want 100 150 find this cost of that mixture and then just find the difference and reverse it that is our answer that's it so let's see how many of you are able to solve it okay if you have any doubt or if you think okay uh, you feel that this concept is not understood properly let me know in comments okay okay then let's stop for today bye everyone